Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, Mr. Koskinen, for being here. Your testimony suggests, and what was just indicated uh, by my friend, uh, suggests that impeachment is improper and that you have, and you have attached many exhibits to that effect. You further stated that you are unaware of anyone on your level having been impeached in the past. In fact, you stated, you sent us a letter from a bunch of uh, college professors, law professors that says the reason for this salutary exercise of self-restraint by the House, meaning that we have never impeached anybody at your level, is that in our constitutional system, primary responsibility for supervising executive branch officials resides with the president, not with the Congress. But the question that we have to answer in this hearing is what happens when the president is not exercising that super, uh, supervision over somebody like you. So maybe the question is not whether impeachment is proper, but maybe the question is why, after all of these disturbing instances of lack of candor, lack of transparency, and lack of fitness to serve, you still believe that you can competently serve as the commissioner of this agency. This country may not have a long history of impeachment at your level, but certainly we have a long, long history of officials at your level who have been subject to dismissal and resignation for similar or even lesser offenses than what you have perpetrated. Are you familiar with Michael Brown, the former director of FEMA? I do not know him, but I know he, the position he held. And do you know what happened to him following his mismanagement of the Katrina efforts? Uh, I do not recall specifically. I know ultimately he left the government, but I don't know the He resigned from office. Are you familiar with former DEA Administrator Michelle Leonhardt? Do you know what happened to her following the release of a watchdog report on agent misbehavior under her watch? I do not. She resigned from office. Are you aware of what Catherine Archuleta, the former OPM director, did following the 2015 OPM act hacks by foreign governments? Uh, that I do understand. And what did she do? She resigned. She resigned. These are many, there are many examples of this, including the resignation of Secret Service Director Julia Pearson following security breaches and ATF head Kenneth Melson over Fast and Furious. Well, I could, I'm not going to spend my entire five minutes providing you with examples of agency heads at your level who have resigned based on agency failures. But however, I'm going to suggest to you how, why this is not a dereliction of duty. Your bosses refuse to actually hold you accountable for your actions. So there's only one branch that can do that, and that's our branch. Instead, I want to ask you, do you dispute that over 24,000 emails responsive to a congressional subpoena and investigation were destroyed during your tenure? I do not. Do you dispute that you testified before the Oversight and Government Reform Committee after that destruction that it was your intention to comply with the request or evidence and that you were planning on turning over all relevant email communication? That testimony was not after anyone knew about that erasure. But you testified that after that happened. No. Was after anyone the, yes, at the, was, I did testify after it happened. Just nobody knew it had happened. Was anyone at the IRS, including the two low-level employees that you keep blaming for this, I, was anybody fired due to the destruction of evidence? I would like the record clear. I don't blame them. At the time, I didn't blame them. The IG did a year investigation and found were they it fired? was a mistake. Was they were not it, was anybody fired for the destruction of evidence? Those two people were not fired. The IG determined it was an honest mistake on their part. So no substantive corrective action has been taken. So ultimately, sir, I will do what you ask us to do. I will judge you on your overall record. Your inability to successfully preserve the information requested and your so-called mistaken testimony clearly demonstrates that your overall record is one of gross incompetence and extreme negligence and that your department exhibited such. Or worse yet, there was some intentional deception. We shouldn't need the articles of impeachment that we are talking about today, and we shouldn't need these hearings because you, Mr. Koskinen, should have resigned for your failures to properly carry out your duties and for failure to bring the transparency that you promised during your confirmation hearings. And with that, I yield back my time. The, uh,
time of the gentleman has expired. The witness will be permitted to respond if he chooses to. Pardon? You can respond. No, I think if uh, I have an overall record at the IRS I'm proud of, we've made significant progress across the board. I've talked about. Oh, you uh, have to respond to the specific. Uh, but on the specific issue, uh, I do not think that the mistakes, honest mistakes made by em uh, two employees are the grounds for either resignation or, or uh, uh, certainly not for impeachment. If, in fact, every time <clears throat> an employee makes an honest mistake in an agency, the expectation is that the head of that agency should resign, uh, we're not going to have many agency heads around. 